Hey folks, this is Emil Hodrick, HelpJuice CEO and founder, and today I want to show you the HelpJuice dashboard. The HelpJuice dashboard is a really simple way to manage your content. Within your dashboard, you can create topics, articles, and organize all your content appropriately. With the dashboard, creating an article or category is really simple. You create category here, and then from there, you can kind of assign the accessibility, whether you want it public, internal, private, or URL only. Now, the difference between public, internal, private, URL only is public, of course, anybody can access that with the URL here. Internal, only your help juice users that are added as a user right here can access it. Private are only specific users that you assign. So group, you can create a group if you want. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, manually type in the same users every time or you are only similar to Google Docs, you, you know, copy paste this URL and you're done, right? We also allow segmentation fields, but that's a little bit advanced. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. Anyway, so that's it about sharing content. It's really easy to add categories and whatnot. Now, in terms of how this appears on the front end, all you have to do is you have to click on this view knowledge base button right here. It's gonna take you to the front end, which kind of looks like this. Now, as you saw, I was editing the get started category, which is automatically rendered right here. If I click on it, I'm gonna see it. I'm logged in right now. So if it's internal, I'm gonna be able to visit it. If it's public, I'm gonna be able to see it. If it's internal, I'm not gonna be able to see it publicly, of course. And that's how a little bit on how it works. Now, in terms of search and whatnot, you can either search to the back end, so the dashboard or the actual knowledge base here. Uh, our search is pretty powerful. Uh, it's the number one in the market. So I'll give you an example just of a simple, simple typo. So let's just say you're looking at you know more information about our Slack integration. As you can see, it, it'll automatically pick it up uh, that I'm looking for Slack. Now further here, I can click on edit. It'll take me to the editor. And just to quickly summarize, the dashboard allows you to again, add categories, content, articles, and also organize them. So if you want to drag and drop the order, let's say you want getting started to be at the top, or you want to, you know, download the PDF of that version, or you want to, you know, edit multiple categories, you know, their access level, whether they're internal, private, or whatnot, you can all do that from the dashboard. Uh, furthermore, you can even add filters if you want to look you know, kind of specifically, but most importantly is uh, knowing how to access the knowledge base, which is right here. You can even set it up where your users never see the dashboard, but they're di taken directly to the actual knowledge base. Thanks again.